Okay, so we're group one, and we did on the vitamin, vitamin shop in Deckard. Um, Christina, Molly, Robert, Stephen, Emily, Melissa. Okay, so a little bit about the vitamin shop. The vitamin shop is the second largest vitamin minerals and supplements retailer on the market today. They were founded in 1977, and the vitamin shop has done a great deal of expanding, opening over 700 stores across 45 of the 50 states in the U.S., as well as stores located in Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia. Um, the company has remained committed to help its customers achieve their own health and wellness goals. By doing so, the vitamin shop seeks to make the world a healthier place, one person at a time. Um, through opening a vast variety of products in their store, not just their own product line, they will be able to provide their customers a specific product that is optimal to their own unique needs and wants. Um, they hope to position themselves as a reliable source of products that their customers are looking for. Products are not easily products that are not easily accessible at their competitor stores. Um, by providing its customers with a commitment to better educate them on healthy living, the Byron Shop hopes to promote and inspire health and wellness among those trying to lead a healthier life. Okay, question. Has anyone, anyone been to the Vitamin Shop in Deckard? Okay. Have you ever been to like a GNC? Yeah. What was like your experience like between both stores? Vitamin Shop definitely is more for like just overall like body care rather than mm -hmm. like fitness. Like GNC is more like protein and creatine and things like that. And vitamin has like vitamins for like everything. You see a lot of more old people at Vitamin yeah. Shop. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to add anything? Um, I was a scoop as a crazy. Okay. Um, so being that, um, I actually worked at the Vitamin Shop in Denver, that's why we did this one. But um, the difference between GNC and the Vitamin Shop were more like concerned about the customer, not just like making a sale. And growing up, like I was over 200 pounds, so being someone who went to GNC and Vitamin Shop, GNC always like pushed back burners on me and like all this stuff. And then the Vitamin Shop, my boss, who actually since I was 16, has helped me through like getting like a multivitamin and like a fish oil instead of just like being like, here, take this next back burner to help. Um, other thing is we just help get the customer more knowledgeable instead of just like making the sales. So we just, I learn more from the customers than anything. Um, we also price match, so that's our big thing with GNC, we price match too. Um, we do demos in and out of the store, so we actually have one coming up in like next Saturday. John also works at the Vibrant Shop in Millville, but they do a lot more like, I'll show you pictures actually. This is like our last demo that we did. So we have like three samples. We have like protein almonds that we have on sample. We have like, if you shoot the little basket in the little middle picture, the basketball thing is like literally this big. So it's like impossible to get, but if you make it, you can take a sample. Um, and then we have, of course, all the samples of the protein and um, the BCAAs and whatnot. So in addition to offering a variety of other private brands, um, Vitamin Shop produces and sells its own unique brands. By doing this, it enables them to ensure that quality is never compromised and that all ingredients that are put into the product are pure and there's nothing harmful and like your skin's not going to melt off if you rub some kind of um, lotion on or you might like, I don't know, pass out. Who knows? <laughs> Um, this also enables them to like test the product to make sure it does exactly what it is they're saying it does. And like <laughs> Christina just said, um, Vitamin Shop focuses more on making sure that customer service is flawless and that everyone leaves the store completely satisfied and better off knowing what it is that they're buying. Um, this is because employees are trained to really focus in on what it is the customer is looking for and what products will help them with their own specific needs and wants. And this reputation of, of great quality has really helped um, not only with their customer service and their products, but it has helped them to really experience the success that they've had over the past couple of years. So we focus just on the location at Denver, Christina works there, so it was helpful to like get access to go in, like go around the store, like talk to the employees and the manager. Um, it's 15 minutes away from Rowan on Route 41, right off Route 42 by the mall. So that's good because a lot of the customer traffic is from 
people like around the area in the mall, which is like a busy location. So the products and services that they carry, like I said, there's like your herbs, um, daily vitamins, support nutrition. Um, they offer demonstration samples. They are also, the store is also separated into six different sections. You have the herbs and natural vitamins, then you have vitamins from A, B, C, D, brain support, heart support, minerals. Then you also have omega fatty acids, superfoods, <coughs> vitamins, the kids section. Um, then there's also support nutrition with like pre, intra, and post workouts plus the protein one. And then you have like the natural proteins that are vegan and dairy, uh, non dairy products. And then there's also like a snack section with bars, cookies, and chips, and other stuff like that. And services that they also offer are online shopping, as well as in store pickup, and it makes it easier for the customers so they can be ordered online and just go to the store and pick it up. But they also offer automatic delivery program, also known as ADP. And this is basically where you set up like an automatic delivery to your house of a certain product. Like say you finish it, you know you finish it within like a month or two, you can have it automatically set up to come to your house in the second month. And then with that, you get a 10% discount, double the points, for example, and you can also cancel any time. All right, so some challenges. As health and wellness have become an increasingly important aspect of many people's lives, the challenges that Vitamin Shop face have also uh, increased. So the Vitamin Shop frequently undergoes policy changes, and as a customer, no one likes that. They constantly are changing their return policy and their price matching policies, which if you're used to a certain thing, keep going, constantly changing, it can be really frustrating, which can affect sales. And another challenge that Vitamin Shop faces is the seasonal variation in the purchase of products. So they have a hard time keeping up with the trends for some reason. Like when it gets warm out and you need like certain products, they're a little bit behind and then in reverse in the winter as well. So operational management. Some of the most common operational management issues that the vitamin shop is confronted with typically arise from corporate headquarters. So for some reason they have a hard time getting the message out to all the, the shops that they have around the state and country. I don't know why, but they seem to have that problem. And um, some of these changes do not often make sense to the typical employer or they may not see the purposes behind these decisions. So this can leave employees with a sense of discontent. And when employees are upset, they're not going to want to work. They're going to be kind of like mulling around, not doing really what not being helpful to customers. And additionally, when we were observing the store in person, we could see that the store's job structure was fairly strange. So they have store manager, assistant manager, full-time key holder, part-time key holder, and two associates. So the first two make sense, like a manager's pretty straightforward, but after that, like who's in charge of what kind of becomes blurred and there's a real lack of like structure to help them run smoothly. And this communication and job responsibilities has created significant friction between employees and there are multiple employees perceiving to have more power than they really they do in reality. So forecasting and inventory management, um, at this uh, Vitamin shop, and I believe other vitamin shops as well. There's little to no forecasting done, and the forecasting that is done is highly ineffective. So, the employees and the workers they don't know what they're getting until they actually open the boxes the day that it arrives. And even if the manager reports that a certain product's going getting low or they're running out of it, they still don't know when they'll be receiving more. That um, each store also carries like your basic vitamins, minerals, and herbs, but. They also carry, like, each, store, each store has unique products, like the Deckwork store has natural makeup, and Cherry Hill carries protein pizza and protein ice cream. So we had really big, four big recommendations for the vitamin shop to help it improve overall. Um, the first one would be try to avoid these frequent <coughs> policy changes that, also, that often impact um, in-store business, such as um, the online coupon uh, policy, which they used to accept online coupons in the stores. However, this policy changed where they no longer accept it. So like we mentioned before, customers are kind of really um, peeved about it. So it's kind of, it's had a very detrimental impact on sales and overall customer satisfaction, which customer satisfaction is their competitive advantage. So by them not having good quality customer satisfaction, it kind of brings down the status of the company. Um, we would also recommend that there be more communication between the individual stores and corporate headquarters. 
because this will help impact or help the uh, company track how policy implementation, like how it impacts the um, overall sales in the stores, <coughs> and which it'll help them figure out which policies tend to help business out, whereas the ones other ones may um, be a detriment to the business overall, so they can avoid the bad decisions and kind of make more better decisions. Um, another recommendation that we have for Vitamin Shop is to really make sure that going on into the future, they really make all their decisions based around the Vitamin Shop's core values, which is maintaining quality, the quality of their products mm -hmm. and maintaining customer satisfaction and service. Because like I said, if they don't have that, their competitive advantage over GNC and other health food stores is completely gone. Um, and the biggest thing really is for them to improve their poor um, inventory management and forecasting. Like we mentioned with the um, seasonal changes in, de in demand, like right now, because it's getting warmer out, people are trying to get more in shape because, you know, swimsuit season's coming up. So... Right now, they're kind of, they're running really low on products like fat burners, but they're like during the winter they were low on like um, cold medicines and stuff like that. So now they have a lot of cold medicines, but they don't have any fat burners. Whereas during the winter they had fat burners, but no cold medicines. So if they're able to improve their overall forecasting, they can get the product that is needed and in high demand at the time to the customers, so that they'll be a more reliable source for products and help with customer satisfaction. Um, and if they're able to do this, it'll establish the vitamin shop as a reliable source of health and wellness products and will lead to much greater future success. Any questions? So do customers recognize uh, vitamin, vitamin shop better than GSC in terms of their quality and customer service? Hands down. They'd rather come to a vitamin shop even if it's losing more money. Because now we used to price match everything, but now we cut it back to what it's like, bodybuilding.com, our website, and Amazon, but it has to be Amazon, not like a third party. So by doing that, people, there's all different websites, and it'll be like $10 off or $15 off customers that have been coming in for years. Then they get angry, and they don't want to come back. But then also there's like the, I don't know, this, this will. Um, but yeah, they'd rather, they rather come to Vitamin Shop, spend a little bit more, and then go to GNC when they're going to push a product on them. Rather come to the shop where we're going to like not give them knowledge and like actually tell them about the product. And if it's even going to like benefit for them. So now, are all like the employees trained to know what all like the vitamins are supposed to do, or do they just kind of like yes. know generally? Yes and no. Um, so like when I first started, I knew he knew I was all about like the sport nutrition section. Mm -hmm. So like if anyone comes in, he's like, "You see, what help you yeah. with pre workouts and stuff like that." But then the vitamins and like we have so many things in the store that I learn new stuff every single day. It's kind of interesting because it's kind of what I want to do with my career yeah. with marketing. But I just, he knew I knew like the basic of everything, right. but I didn't know what every single thing did. So it's kind of interesting hearing from other people, my employees too, mm -hmm. especially my manager's been there for 10 years. So. With your inventory management, do you, would you say it's so much of forecasting or possibly like supply chain? Because when you're mentioning of how, like when you, you get the supplies in every yeah. day for your inventory and you open a box and you have no idea what's in it. I know in my place with retail, it's mm -hmm. the exact same situation. Obviously, mm -hmm. different products, what uh, have you. But is there like a way they could track like where each thing is at or if it's in the distribution center? Because like we have where we scan like a product and we, we say like go to Sherry Hill or go to like Mark. We have that, but like we get shipping every Tuesday and Friday, but there'll be like 60 boxes or 20 boxes, but we really don't know what's going to be in the boxes, but we can look on our website and it would say like, we have three in the store, but now it's like, okay, which box? You know what I'm saying? Like, or if we don't have anything in the store, like you said, we can scan it and it'll be like Cherry Hill or like Novo or like another store has it. So they do have that system. It's just so much of like, it's pretty much the distribution of the supply chain. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So how many of you are going to come to take final exam? Raise your hand. Really? <laughs> okay. 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 
Okay, so, so um, I really enjoyed having you in my class. I, I, I think my course was tougher than most other classes. I believe that. Uh, but uh, that's what it is, you know, operations management is tougher than other classes. So I'm just, uh, however, I hope you felt that this course worked out. That's what I'm hoping so. So, you know, one or two questions per chapter. Okay. Yeah, so uh, up to 20 questions. I'm going to give 20 questions. We're talking multiple choice essay or like. <laughs> yeah. uh, no essay. Okay. No, uh, minimal multiple choice questions, mostly, mostly short answers. Yeah. Some of them are the same with quiz questions. Are we able to go back in? Exam, no. Quiz, yes. So we can't look at the situation? No, we can't. Because uh, I, I am extremely concerned about, you know, um, my exam questions floating around, you know. Did you um, post exam three grades? Yeah. 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 It is, it is, it is. Yeah. 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 If I have an exam on the same time and the same day, what should I do? Are you kidding me? No, no you can't have the same schedule. Yeah. Because the university makes the coordination. Are you serious? I don't know. I just remember like my yeah. professor for accounting said that like I have an exam at the same time. I don't know what date because I like probably goes so zone out. Probably goes. Yeah. Any other question? Wait, I thought this was Thursday. Pardon? No, it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday, 10, 15, 12, 15. Just like the one you said that you're going to be at the same time. What class Yep, Thursday, midnight, I say you do. What class is this? What's the final one? Is it operations management? I don't know. I need to, I need to get Everyone else had some questions. I thought I might still join in. Who else can have it? So it's my turn. 